Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another episode of Mami Today's Asewe. So guys, today I have a very, very interesting dish. I've been getting inboxes from people asking me to prepare fresh tilapia fish. So today we're going to have fresh tilapia fish in soup. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And please guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Please press the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime I'm uploading a new video. So straight to our ingredients. So guys, this is our fish. So I'm going to cut it into pieces before I wash it. The head is usually the one that is complicated, so you have to make sure that it is very, very clean. Our fish is clean so as I prepare the other ingredients I'm going to place them on top of this rack so that the water can drain out completely so here they are so by the time I'll be finishing with the ingredients they'll be ready
next to our ingredients, we have salt here. I have coriander or dania if you wish. Red onions. I have garlic. I have hoho or green capsicum. Then I have roiko here. Then I have tomatoes are here. And my fish is here. And finally the cooking oil is here. So let's start the cooking. So guys, we're going to start our cooking. And I'm going to pour the oil. I'm going to allow it to heat up. Then I'm going to add my onions. So I will allow the onions to cook a little bit before I add my garlic because garlic cooks faster than the onions, than the red onions. So at this point, I'm going to add my garlic because the other onions are almost ready. I'll allow them to cook together until they both turn golden brown. As you can see, the onions and the garlic are almost browning. And in the next one minute or so, I'm going to add the tomatoes so that they can continue cooking together. So guys, the onions are ready. So at this point, I'm going to add the tomatoes. And I'm going to stir. I'm going to add salt. Just a little salt. Then I'm going to add Royco. That's enough. So I'm going to allow it to cook until all the tomatoes are cooked properly before I add my green capsicum or cocoa. So the tomatoes are almost ready. I'm just going to allow it to cook for around 30 seconds before I add the green capsicum or hoho. The tomatoes are ready as you can see. So I am going to add the green capsicum or hoho. Then I will continue stirring. Wow, the color is so appealing. So appealing and the aroma is something to die for. The fish is going to be tasty for sure, I can tell you. At this point, I'm going to add water. 
Guys, our fish is too big and it needs enough water for it to be immersed in the soup so that it can cook nicely. So I'm going to add just a little water for it to cook well. So the soup has boiled and at this point I'm going to dip in my fish into the sufuria. I'm going to place them nicely inside the sufuria so that they can cook nicely. At least they have to be immersed inside the soup. So I'm going to leave it for around 10 to 15 minutes to allow it to boil and cook. Point, I'm going to turn the head so that it can cook on both sides. So guys, let's check on our fish. Wow. The aroma is out of this world. It looks so tasty. And the soup has also thickened. Looks so yummy. So yummy, guys. I can't wait to eat this with ugali. Guys, you also need to know that the fresh tilapia fish takes a little longer to cook as compared to the, to the other one. To the deep fried one so we'll still give it time like five minutes i know by the time five minutes is over the fish will be ready so let me cover it and wait so guys i believe our fish is now ready as you can see so i normally use a fork to test if the fish is ready as you can see, it's very ready. So at this point, I'm going to switch off the gas. Then as usual, I'm going to add my dania as the last ingredient. And I'm going to spread it evenly in the food. So guys, this is how our food looks like. So yummy, appetizing, and appealing. Yes, that's how I prepare my fresh tilapia fish. I know it's very yummy and very, very delicious. Please try it out and let me know in the comments down below. So guys, until the next episode of Mami to Jay Zasewe, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Until the next episode of Mami to Jay Zasewe, bye.